Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Won't you just give the Lord praise and give him some more praise and hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those are, those are good songs. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's, hallelujah. So praise God. The title of my message tonight is When God Laughs. When God Laughs. Amen. <laughs> When God laughs, no service Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> when, praise God when God laughs. Amen. Praise God. So we're going to look at Psalms 2. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 2. Everybody doing okay tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, will, I will just read a verse and I'll let you be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Psalms 2, verse 4. He sitteth, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, mighty God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for what you're going to do, mighty God, tonight. Mighty God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Speak and teach, mighty God, through me, through your word. I'm just your mouthpiece, Lord. I'm just a vessel. Mighty God, willing to be used by your Lord. Thank you, mighty God, for what you're going to do tonight, mighty God. Let your word go forth, mighty God. Let it be a changing word, a life-changing, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. You may be seated in the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This word tonight, praise God. I thank God for this word tonight. Um, amen. If we can, brothers and sisters, if we can get a hold of this, what I'm saying tonight, what God has led me to uh, say and preach tonight or teach tonight, amen, this, this, this can be life-changing. And, and, and really, we were, we, were, we were, what the pastor's been preaching in the book of Revelation and those and everything that's in that is so powerful um, that this is it's it's connected to this, okay? Amen. It's connected to what uh, I'm going to teach tonight. So pray for me, amen. That I may be delivering this this word. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So when God laughs, amen. So we're going to talk about Psalms two, amen. It's split into four. I'm going to teach it this way. It's split into four ways here, amen. Verses 1 through 3 talks about the rebellious nations. Amen. Uh, number 2, God rules in the heavens. He rules in the heavens. Amen. Pastor was talking about that this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. About the rulership of God. Hallelujah. He's going to rule and reign. Amen. Hallelujah. He's ruling right now. See, that's what we need to get a hold of, church. Amen. There's, 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 a, there's a future aspect to it. Amen. There's eschatology in this psalm. There's crystal, 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 there's Christology in this psalm. Amen. There's a lot in this psalm. Amen. But we, what we got to understand is that it's already done in the heavens. He's already laid it out. Hallelujah. Amen. And what happened this morning, amen, we were in the heavens. We we're in the throne room of God. We were looking at the plan, amen, of God, the plan that he's going to show, that he's showing what's going to happen when it's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. That's good news. And I don't know if you understand how powerful that is, church. Nor do I really understand how powerful that is and how special that is that we've been hearing this word, especially this morning. Amen. And all the word has been going forth this week. But we, God, rules in the heavens. Amen. amen. Verses 4 through 6. God made a decree. Amen. Verses 7 through 9. And the rule of the Messiah on the earth. It's four, four divisions here. Amen. Hallelujah. So when God was speaking to me, amen, this morning, he spoke to me about God laughs. I say, well, when does God laugh? When does he laugh? Amen. Psalm 2 speaks of this. Amen. When the kings of the earth set themselves, verse 2, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. This is when he laughed because verse 4, he says, he sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So these rebellious nations want nothing to do with God. Amen. 
Hey, man, they want in this, in this nation, hallelujah, they removed the band of prayer or the cord of prayer. Hey, Amen, hallelujah, you can't pray anymore, hallelujah. Amen. You can't, they remove the band of the word of God. Amen. In institutions, right? You can't speak the word of God anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. They removed the band of marriage. Amen. Hallelujah. Marriage is not, hallelujah, holy anymore. It's not a thing anymore. Hallelujah. You can shack up. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's, it's all good. Praise. Amen. The band of, pra- of, amen, a band of prayer, a band of marriage. Amen. All these different bands, a band of proper gender etc etc hallelujah they want to release the bands they want to release the control they don't want nothing to do with god they don't want god's rulership god's reign in their life amen hallelujah so let's cut the cord let's cut the bands is what the enemy says amen hallelujah let's break their bands asunder let's cast away their cords from us and this is you it says there amen because we are the body of christ amen hallelujah but he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh amen hallelujah they want to be their own god Amen. When you study Abraham, Abraham had a son. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And his son's name was Isaac. And Isaac means laughter. Amen. Real quick. Let me go to Genesis 17. Amen. Praise God. Genesis 17. So when God, God's, God has a plan here. And his plan is to get the rule and reign back. Amen. Hallelujah. He's already ruling and reigning. But not the whole earth is submitted to him. Amen. Hallelujah. But he's also got to save mankind. Amen. Hallelujah. So he starts with a laugh. The promise seed starts with a laugh. Hallelujah. He's showing the enemy, I'm going to get the last laugh. I'm going to start with a laugh, and I'm going to end with a laugh. Hallelujah. Amen. So God's promise of a son. So here it starts off with the promise seed. Amen. The seed, the divinic line, uh, the the divine line of David, the line of David, the line of the Messiah. Amen. Starts with Abraham. Amen. And and then verse 17, verse 17 says, Then Abraham fell upon his face and what? Laughed. And said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? Amen. Hallelujah. Why was he laughing? Because God says, you're going to have a son. Amen. It's a promised son. Amen. It's a covenant that God set with Abraham. Hallelujah. It's a covenant thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he says, you're going to have a son. And he says, huh, me in my old age, he started laughing. Amen. And Abraham said unto God, all that of Israel might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. He already told him his name. He already told him the plan. Hallelujah. His name's Isaac, which means laughter. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Amen. Praise God. So he has the what? He started, the, he started this thing with a laugh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm going to get somewhere with this. Amen. So he started with a laugh. Now, Abraham. Now, this is not an irreverent thing what I'm saying. Abraham, hallelujah, walked by faith. But he wasn't perfect. He came out of the land of Ur Chaldees, like we came out of the world. Amen. And in Ur Chaldees, amen, hallelujah, there was idol worship all over. Hallelujah. But what made the difference, amen, is he, he saw, he says, there has to be something greater than this. So God, all, I had, all that needed, all, all, that's all what God needed in his heart was that, to move on and say, hey, I am God. I am the one who made the stars. I am the one who made this creation. I am he. Amen. Come out from among your people. Come out from your family. Come out, amen, hallelujah, and follow me, and I will give you a promised land. Hallelujah. The land that's being fighting over tonight, the land that's being fighting over today, God promised that to Abraham and his seed. That's amen. Some follow me, amen, and I will go give you a land that flows with milk and honey, amen. And so when Abraham did, he stepped out. He stepped out by faith, amen, hallelujah, and that's how we need to be, church. We need to be stepped up by faith. Abraham wasn't perfect. When he walked this journey, he made a lot of mistakes. Amen. You just go and read it. Amen. Hallelujah. He made plenty of mistakes. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to see yourself in Abraham. He's called the father of the what? The faithful. Amen. Even though he made mistakes, he was called the father of the faithful. And sometimes we let our mistakes held us hostage we let our mistakes and our circumstances hold us hostage amen but amen hallelujah but you can't let it hold you hostage you have to walk by faith amen 
You have to learn how to walk by faith. Trust in his word. Amen. And I just say that with words, church. But I really mean trust in his word. When his word says it, you say, that's, that's it. That's it, Lord. I believe it. I'm going to walk in it. Amen. I'm going to take upon your word. So, amen. So, Abraham was the father of the faithful. And we need to be like him. Amen. We need to, amen. Hallelujah. We need to trust in his word. God, that's what your word says. I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't come to him like we deserve it. We don't come to him like we're entitled. We don't come to him like that. Amen. You don't have to come to him like that. You just walk by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. You submit in his mighty hand. Hallelujah. And walk by faith. Amen. But here's where I'm getting at, church. Amen. Hallelujah. God rules in the heavens. Amen. God rules in the heavens. And when Pastor was preaching this morning, amen, he says we're going to be what? Ascending. There's a parousia. Amen. In the last days. Well, church, there's a parousia in the spirit right now. You can get in that high place. You can flow up, amen, into the high place, amen. Hallelujah. Because when you look at Psalms 2, amen, he talks about, he's talking about how he's going to laugh. He's talking about how he's laughing at the enemy, amen. Hallelujah. He says, why do the heathen rage, verse 1, and the people imagine a vain thing, an empty thing? They got these plans, amen, hallelujah. They imagine these imaginations, Amen. Like back in the days of Babylon where they built the, power, the Tower of Babel. Vain thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Trying to get away from the rulership of God. Amen. And it says, verse 2, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing, saying, let us break their bands asunder, cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. But where is he seated? In the heavens. Amen. And the Lord shall have them in what? In derision. Hallelujah. He sits in the heavens, and this is what the message is tonight, church. Hallelujah. You sit in God in heavenly places. Hallelujah. You should be laughing with him. Let me say that again. You should be laughing with him. You should not let no circumstance, no trouble, no anything. Amen. Amen. You know why? You know why that is? You know why circumstances get to us, church? You know why it brings us down when the, the, the things in life and we go through things? You know why? Because we're not high enough. We're not up ascended. We're not. Amen. You're not in the, you're not in the heavens, in the throne room with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are his body. Amen. The Bible says we are sitting in heavenly places. Amen. It says the earth is his footstool, but he's also sitting on the throne. Hallelujah. We are on the earth. Hallelujah. Well, amen. Okay. Hope I know if I'm making sense here or not. Amen. Amen. But if you go, let's look at Isaiah 66, 1 through 10. This is where I'm going to camp on. Okay. I'm just feeling after what God wants me to do here. I have so much, but I'm going to just camp on what God told me to do. And I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 66, amen. Hallelujah. I'm getting there, church, amen. 66, 1 through 10, amen. It says, thus said the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me and where is the place of my rest? Amen. Hallelujah. So the heaven is my throne and the earth is my Footstool, amen. Go to Psalms 110, verse 1. I'm just going to read these scriptures and then I'll, I'll, I'll amen. So where is it at? His, his throne is in heaven and the, and the earth is his what? Footstool. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I wish I could preach. <laughs> Hallelujah, amen. Praise God. Amen, Pastor. Hallelujah. Let's look at Psalms 110. I hope you're getting this. I hope you get this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 110 verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. That's his decree in Psalms 2. Amen. He's talking about the Messiah. He's talking to David. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord said unto my my Lord, this is David, the Lord said unto my Lord, amen, 
Hallelujah. Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. See, you already know what the end result is. But if you don't get high enough in the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you won't see it. Because all you will focus on is your circumstance. All you will focus on is your troubles. You're just at the footstool. But God wants you to go into the throne room. Into the holy of holies. Like he did with Abraham when he showed what he's going to do to Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. You live in better times than Abraham. Hallelujah. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You're baptized in his name. And because you're baptized in his name, hallelujah, you're in him. And when you're in him, he says you're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we should not be, yes, we start at the footstool. But how do you get up that high? Brother Timothy, you start by submitting and humiliating, humbling yourself to at his feet. Hallelujah. And when you humble yourself, what does he say in the word? He exalts those who humble themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You humble yourself and you'll be what? Exalted. Hallelujah. Because when you humble yourself, you say he is the king. He is God. He is the ruler. Amen. When we come in this house, amen, hallelujah, we struggle sometimes. Pastor struggles trying to get you on board. Hallelujah, amen. Why is that? Because when you're preaching, you're teaching, he's seeing the faces and he's discerning. They're not with, they're not hearing the message. They're not in the spirit of the message. They've got their minds wandering here, wandering there. Why is that? Because your foot, your, 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 your eyes are on the earth and it's not in the heavens. You're not up high enough. Because when you're up high enough with Jesus, amen, hallelujah, he's going to show you his plans. He's going to show you the details. He's going to show you like he did this morning. Hallelujah. The 30 days after the, hallelujah, 1,290, or 45 days. Hallelujah. He's showing you the details. But if your mind's not here, hallelujah, you'll miss it all. That's why you got to get up and get high where, the, where Jesus is at. Hallelujah. When you're at, when, when, when the enemy's at war, they send the special ops. Amen. To the high places. So they can see the enemy. Amen. They go to the high places. They see high so they can see the enemy. And that's where God is. He's always in the, he's in the high place. He sees what the enemy's doing. He's the most high God. And you've got to get there with him. He wants you there with him. You're his sons and daughters. Hallelujah. You're not just a friend. You're a son and a daughter in Christ Jesus. A part of the body of Christ. A part of the bride. Hallelujah. He wants you to be high with him. He wants you to show you things. He wants to show you this. God does. Hallelujah. Amen. But when the yeah, hallelujah, so when the enemy, when the special forces, when they look at the enemy, when they're at war, the Navy SEALs, they go up in the high places. They take the high places. Amen. And they're out there watching. Amen. And, and they're watching and the other forces come in. And when they see the enemy open up and want to start shooting, they, they can see the enemy come. They start shooting at the enemy. Because when they're so high, the enemy can't get to them. You understand what I'm saying? They can see what's going on. Amen. The snipers are up there at the high places because they see what the enemy's doing. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll tell you something. When they, This is interesting. I want to show you something. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to laugh like God laughs. You got to learn how to laugh like God laughs. Hallelujah. We let just these little things get to us all the time. You can't do that. Hallelujah. You got to laugh how, to, how God laughs because there's bigger things than these little things that we go through. You just got to trust God with those little things. Just push it to the side, put it on the blood, and go forward. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants you to go high. Amen. Hallelujah. So you have to go in the high places with him, church. Amen. Lord Jesus. You got to get high in him, church. Amen. So you can see you. He wants you to be a watchman on the wall. You have to be a watchman on the wall over your own soul. Understand? Hallelujah. You got to walk in joy. You got to laugh. Hallelujah. You got to laugh. Hallelujah. 
You can't let all these things that go around you get to you. Amen. Hallelujah. When you wander off in your mind and your eyes, where are you wandering off to? When God is trying to speak to you. Hallelujah. The enemy wants to distract you. Your job. Your home. This. That. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't let that. You got to take martial law over your mind. Hallelujah. You have to. And says, no, I'm going to focus on Jesus. I'm not going to let these things get to me. Whatever those things are in your life, church, you know what they are. Well, something that easily besets us, you know what they are. Sometimes it's things that come to us in life. Sometimes it's things that the enemy tries to throw at you. Or sometimes it's things that we bring upon ourselves. Amen. Whatever it is, you know what it is. What, what can you do? What can you do? Are you going to let us distract us from the Lord? Are you going to let us distract us from his plans? Are you going to let it distract you? Hallelujah. Amen. No, you got to get high. You got to flow up. Hallelujah. You got to see what God sees. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we have to do, church. Because God's going to have the last laugh. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham came close to the Lord that he showed him how we'll judge Solomon and Gomorrah. Amen. Genesis 17, Genesis 18. Well, God's laugh is a scornful laugh. It's a scornful laugh. But we must be watchmen on the wall. When Pastor was preaching Matthew 24, verse 42. Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. If you go to 24, verse 42, Pastor was preaching on this. Amen. He says, watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. You must watch your own soul. You must be up in the high place. But you got to humble yourself. You got to admit to God. You got to put your sins under the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't you let your mind be distracted in this hour. You can't let the little things of yesterday be a past. Things of that nature. Amen. To distract you from the main purpose of God. Hallelujah. Do you realize, church? Hallelujah. As I was coming up here and pastor preaching years ago, you have 24-hour access to your God. And we don't take advantage of that. And I remember a long time ago, man, it, that, man oh, he caught talk chills behind in your spine. Pastor preaching one night, he says, he says, yeah, we don't got access to the president. We don't have access to these earthly rulers. But God, that's what he said. God, that's how you're God. You have access to God. You have access to him right now. Hallelujah. You have to get to that high place. You got to get to You can see. Hallelujah, what's real? You got to see what's important. What's important? Hallelujah. What's important? God. Saving, winning the lost. Hallelujah. Being ready for the coming of his kingdom and the establishment of his kingdom. That's what's important. These little things are going to come and go. There's nothing new under the sun. Hallelujah. We just got to get into his word. Hallelujah. And when we come to church, we got to give ourselves to that word. You don't come into the king's presence down. You don't come into the king's presence depressed. You don't come into the king's presence like that. If you do, your mind is not there. You're not in the high place. You're not sitting in the high places. Because if you were, you would laugh at it. You will laugh at that circumstance. You will laugh at those troubles. You understand what I'm saying? You'll laugh. Hallelujah. Mm. There was an incident that happened this week. I'm not going to share the details. Okay? There was an incident that happened this week. It used to get to me. It would really get to me. I'll be so upset. I'll throw off my day and everything, right? I said, I can't believe this happened. Hallelujah. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what I did? I laughed. I said, I ain't going to let this stuff get to me. I'm just going to move forward. You understand what I'm saying? It took some years to get that revelation. The pastor's been preaching it all these years. You just got to go to the side, hallelujah, and move forward. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to do that, church. 
Once the, hey man, you got to learn how to do that. You got to learn how to laugh at life. I said, okay, yeah, this is life happening. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Praise God. But he is God. He sits high above the heaven. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will not pass away. These problems will pass away. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, my his word will not pass away. All I got to do is trust in him. Hallelujah. Amen. I know who butters my bread and sugars my tea. Hallelujah. Amen. That's who I look unto. He says, worry not what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall wear. Hallelujah. But brothers, I can't help it. I got to worry. No, it's there. It's real. But you just focus on him. When I went through some things that I probably brought on myself, amen, and I believe I did, hallelujah, and I asked God, help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, God. What do I do, God? You know what God told me? In just one little simple whisper, my grace is sufficient for thee. My grace is sufficient for thee. In other words, hallelujah, stop focusing on that. Focus on me. Get up here, son, in the throne room, and let me show you the plans. Hallelujah. And every time we come and assemble, assemble one another in the church house, guess what God's doing? He's showing us the plans. Right. Pastor's been preaching this stuff, Revelation, week after week. Wednesday's word was powerful. As a matter of fact, Pastor, it was rhema word for some people in this house. I can tell you that. It was a rhema word for some people in this house. That some people got that word, hallelujah, and it was, amen. What's the, what's the word? It was, it was like God talked to me because pastor preached it behind the pulpit. It was a rhema word. They didn't even know it was coming, but God had their number. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why is that? To get their eyes on him. Come on, church. Amen. So we must be a watchman on the wall, the high place to see God's perspective. What perspective are you looking from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to kiss his feet. I want to get at his feet. I want to kiss his feet. I'm going to humble myself under his mighty hand. Hallelujah. So he may exalt me. So he can say, come up here with me, son. Come up here with me, daughter. Let me show you what I'm going to do in your life. Let me get you to the high place. Get out from all these distractions. Hallelujah. This world system of the flesh of the enemy. Let me get you to a high place. Hallelujah. Amen, church. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, this, this scripture came to me, hallelujah, and I know this was God, because God usually doesn't confirm things to me like this. I thank God for this. But it came to me this morning, and Pastor said one of the first scriptures he said this morning. I'll tell you what, God, we, we, are, we are born with a, what? We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. You know what new creatures do? They ascend. They ascend. When Pastor talked about a parousia, he means high. We're going to meet Jesus in a high place. Hallelujah. When he wants us, he wants us to go high. Hallelujah. Not stay here high. And then we're going to escort him back to the earth. Amen. But it starts high. He wants us to get into a high place in him. Amen. Let me show you what scripture that came to me this morning that Pastor mentioned. Hallelujah. And that word was powerful this morning, Pastor. When Pastor says, I don't know if you're understanding this, well, I was understanding every little bit of it. Hallelujah, it doesn't make me special. Hallelujah, but I was understanding every little bit of it. Amen. It wasn't, it wasn't confusing to me. I got it. Hallelujah! You know why? Because I made up my mind. I'm going to get that word. I'm going to understand that word. Hallelujah! I'm going to get to that high place where the Lord's at. He's giving this message. See, you can be here in a place, hallelujah, in the church assembly one another. You can be in the high place. Or you can be down here. It's your choice. All you got to decide. All you got to choose that on mental ascent. You just roll by faith. You just give yourself to God and His Word. You respond no matter how you feel. No matter what you're feeling. Amen. But okay, I haven't got to the Scripture, but this is the Scripture. God, hallelujah. And the seventh angel sounded, and there was a great voice in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. And He shall reign forever and ever. Amen. That's the plan. Hallelujah. That's what's going to happen. Hallelujah. And that's what Psalms 2 is, in a sense, hallelujah, amen, 
a, a part of that. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a, what's it called? A royal psalm. Hallelujah. It's a kingdom psalm. Amen. So let me go back to Psalm 2. Hallelujah. And when, and when God showed, when, when Pastor preached that, God, you told me that this morning. That's why I know I'm, I'm on the right one. I, I believe I'm in the right What you're telling me to this, tonight, amen. It's what you want me to preach, amen. Hallelujah. So he's talking, amen. What does verse 9 says? You know, in verse 8 it says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen of thine what? Inheritance. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know, we're going to rule and reign with them one day. Do you believe it? Amen. And thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That's what Jesus is going to do. Hallelujah. God laughs. <laughs> really? Okay. Here we go. Here's my decree against that. You really? Hallelujah, you kings of the earth. Really? Hallelujah. You don't want to you don't want to submit to my rulership, to my kingship? Hallelujah. I'm going to have the last laugh. Here we go. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. And there he says, now God's talking to these kings of the earth, these judges of the earth. Be wise, therefore, ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. This is what I like, this, first, this next part here. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from away, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. What does that mean, church? Kiss the son. Hallelujah. Amen. That means, hallelujah, you kiss his feet. You submit under his rulership. They better kiss his feet. They better kiss the son. This is what God showed me before I came. Because if they don't, son, he's talking to me. He's talking to you. He's talking to pastor. He's preaching this word. Because if they don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm just going to crush them. Pastor was talking about crushing all the way with the blood all over the garment of the Lord Jesus. Just going through and just judging, just crushing the enemy. Crushing the enemies of God. Why is that, church? Because they sided with the enemy. These nations, these kings sided with the enemy. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to close, okay? In case you don't know this, the enemy knows he's defeated. Do you know that? Do we know that? You know what, he do? you know what he's doing? He's not, doing, he's not stupid. All he's doing, church, he's just kicking the can down the road. He's just kicking the can down the road. That's all he's doing. It's going to come a point where he can't kick the can down the road. Hallelujah. Why is that? If he can stop you for you winning souls, if he can stop trying to for you preaching the gospel, if he can stop that, that's all he's doing is trying to kick the can down the road because he knows where he's going. That's it. He knows where he's going. He's defeated and he knows it. And you've got to walk like you know it. Amen, church. He's going to crush the can under his feet. The enemy is under his feet. And if he's under his feet, guess what? The enemy's under our feet. Because we sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. I'm done, Pastor. Hallelujah.